Today marks one year since Newman Police Corporal Ronil Singh died in the line of duty. The new dad was shot and killed trying to stop a suspected drunk driver. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is live with how the community is now remembering him tonight. Good evening, Rachel. Yes, good evening. We are at a candlelight vigil. It's going to kick off tonight at 6 o'clock, so we're just about ready to get underway. And they have the candles here. We have balloons here behind me, all sorts of community members, even canine officers, because we know that Corporal Singh was a member of the canine unit in his department. And that day was a day that changed this town forever. They've all come to honor fallen officer Corporal Ronald Singh. Singh was killed just hours after leaving his wife and newborn son on Christmas to work his overnight shift. He was shot and killed by a driver after pulling him over on suspicion of drunk driving. That suspect here illegally was eventually caught in Southern California after a 55-hour manhunt and is now charged with murder. The incident gained national attention. Singh was from Fiji and came to this country with a dream of becoming a law enforcement officer. He had a positive can-do attitude and was respected by many in the community and very involved. He worked with several departments before coming to Newman to join their police force, and many are here to remember a fallen brother. Do we ever get over it? No. Time helps the healing process, but you never get over it. Things like this are important not only for us as, as deputies and police officers, but for the community. You don't ever forget about it. You don't ever lose sight of the sacrifice that they made. And unfortunately, it just happens far too often these days. So you don't ever forget. You're not allowed to forget it. It's what gets you home every night. No truer words have ever been spoken, and everyone in this crowd feels that way. And that's why we have law enforcement from all over the North State. We have community members who've come for, from hours away to join in this celebration of life. Now, Singh's family is here. They've opted not to speak. They, they said that they want to speak on the mic and possibly will speak with us later. And you just can't forget the gut wrenching <laughs> cries. During that press conference, you remember that. Remember that we all watched that. It was it was tough, and we just pray for their family. And they are here tonight, his widow, and also their little boy, and the rest of the family. Yeah, understandable that they might not want to speak, at least not yet. But what a beautiful turnout there to honor a fallen officer. Thank you so much, Rachel.